Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aquarius October 24, 2022. Work or business can do well if you apply non-traditional thinking to them today. The desire to innovate is strong. Analyzing patterns, particularly related to business and finances, can help you think up new, improved methods. You can also find it quite natural to connect with your dreams and ideals. The moon's all-day transit of your privacy sector might slow you down a little. With this influence, you're especially aware of any tendencies to overload on an emotional level. This transit encourages you to restore your energy. Scattered thoughts later today can lead to undue stress, so aim to prioritize. Today and tomorrow have much sunnier skies from a cosmic perspective. Mental Mercury, the planet of the mind and communication, is spinning forward through your solar first house of identity your zodiac sign. He is bringing more practical and realistic energy to your thoughts and interactions as he smiles upon Saturn, the planet of strength and permanence. This could help you forge a promise in love that stands the test of time. Concentrate on discussing your plans, ambitions, and hopes with your significant other and agree to work as a team to help build each other up. Criticism can lead to empowerment. Since the moon in Virgo is hitting your subconscious, your inner monologue might be more judgmental than usual. You may feel nitpicky about small things at work, such as an offhand comment or even how something was executed. Luckily, the moon forms a transformative trine to Uranus retrograde and the north node in Taurus, encouraging you to feel in control of your criticism. Passing judgment is an extension of your discernment which you can use to better your work and life and investments in unconventional ways. With the Sun and Venus return to your income sector tomorrow set to begin the first planetary activity on the income front this year and the most lucrative weeks of 2022, the money gods are keeping the focus on the other side of the financial fence today. It is the moon's friendly aspect to planets in your financial sector that brings a chance to check in on money matters. You feel the planetary alignment today as a positive aspect, supporting those who are willing to turn their good intentions into action. The power of this transit is in experiencing the benefit of exercise and a healthy diet in your emotional life. Begin with today. Concentrate on making your diet a mirror reflection of what you feel is right, heavy on the vegetables, low on the sweets, look for protein in legumes and lay off the saturated fat. Starting in the next few days, you may be able to stabilize a fluctuating situation and get some good results in your material life. But today, you will have to content yourself with following your objectives and keeping a low profile. You're not as open as you should be and every person you meet will make you realize how much your behavior needs to evolve and how much you need to be questioning things. You don't like newness as much as you should and prefer being in comfortable and habitual situations rather than attempting to get some newness into your life. To have the Sun and Venus aligned in Libra during the last full day of your birthday month is something that is not only having an impact now but could influence the rest of your new solar year. This is an alignment that won't peak until just before they both leave Libra tomorrow, giving your heart a powerful say in not just what you want from the coming year but the confidence to believe in what's possible. This will help to define the journey ahead and the course things will take from here. At the same time that Venus, the planet of love is spending her last full day in Libra, Saturn is spending his last in retrograde motion in your romantic sector. While one is looking to the past and another to the future, Saturn's direct turn tomorrow will give matters of the heart the green light but not before first spending one last day looking back. Our eyes in the sky. Today, you've got to get your grind on and be dedicated to your path. The Scorpio moon adds some gusto to the day, but you have to put some elbow grease into it if you want to get things done. It's all about accomplishment right now. Maybe you're making up for lost time and ready to burn the candles at both ends. However, take extremely good care of your body, which is a continual theme here. On a personal level, keep your eyes on the prize of self-care. Never forget the support you're creating and the foundation you're laying for yourself and others. 
These are transits of a lifetime, and today you're aided by your willingness to put your blood, sweat, and tears into what you do and who you love. Whatever is worth the struggle is exactly where you need to focus at this time. Whatever falls away wasn't good enough for you in the first place. The universe doesn't have the time to play those kinds of games with all this work to do. Just after midnight, the Virgo moon opposes retrograde Juno in Pisces, stimulating anxiety around our commitments. As the moon transits Virgo, we feel safest when our lives are regimented and orderly. We have our little routines and checking things off our mental to-do lists provides us with peace of mind. However, the commitments we've forged in work or partnership as Juno transits nebulous Pisces depend upon us going with the flow and understanding that our engagements won't always operate in predictable ways. Juno in Pisces teaches us that there is security to be found in a lack of fixed parameters. There is safety in the liminal. Yet, it won't feel that way at this time. We'll now attempt to apply new rules to our contracts, trying to define and systematize them. We might ask our partners the dreaded question, what are we, or put terms to a vague work contract. After this transit passes, we'll regret these actions, and recognize that they were indicative of insecurity. Fortunately, those who we've partnered with will see our behavior as a temporary lapse in judgment. They understand that what we really need is reassurance, not a contract renegotiation. In the pre-dawn hours, the moon conjunct series in Virgo, a time of self-soothing. Issues from the moon Juno opposition may now be course-corrected. We realize that our desire for structure and control may be due to how we were parented. Either our home lives were overly structured or lacked structure. As we seek to build emotional safety nets in our lives, past nurturance has impacted our present behavior. What form of support feels safe for you? How can you give this support to yourself? We must make it a habit to self-nurture, instead of expecting others to fulfill our needs. This way, we will not only be able to better navigate difficult circumstances with confidence, we will also determine when we are truly not getting what we need from partners, divorced from projection.